This show cannot accept the responsibility for the care of your comments, opinions, or thoughts about what we say, do, or who we have on the show. Because we don't give a fuck. But do please leave your comments below on how to make it better, like, and subscribe. Thank you and enjoy the show. Six and Clark, season two, episode three. I'm right. I'm right. I don't know, man. I, <laughs> fuck it, we lit. I'm Dean. I'm Jaded. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Today we got Professor Pizza and Cool the Barber. <laughs> Awkward <laughs> Cam. We gonna be right back. What the fuck you talking about? Right 106. Right. in my ramen but she say she cooking i'm on the way i've been chefing too but i've been in my basement lately practicing faith i'm on the meal all right and we back with professor pizza my homie tony what's up man what up man how are you i'm good uh where did you come up with the name professor pizza professor pizza really started because of an opportunity at the poly university okay got a chance to uh speak to the kids tell them about pizza what i do how I came up cooking in Chicago and what Italian cuisine meant to me as an Italian American growing right. up here in Chicago. Authentic. So, Work. tell me what you're gonna make. I see some ingredients. Yeah, a couple of different going options on. here. We're doing red pizzas, no, white good. pizzas, the pepperoni, tomato, all sorts of stuff. So, okay, for sure. Uh, I'd be lying to you if I said I had a menu. I got a bunch of ingredients in front of me. It's gonna work out. You gonna make it work? Me. Yeah, absolutely. All right, that's what's up. That's what's absolutely. up. Absolutely. Right, and so, tell me about some of your ingredients. You said you got them from some personal friends, or some. Some of, your of them, yeah. Some of them, I, I really stand behind. Mike uh, from Mike's Hot Honey. Always shout out. Right yeah. here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Daring Izo of Izo Pepperoni. Those cup and chars. You like them? Can I grab one? Yeah, of course. Totally better once it's cooked, <laughs> but you love it now. It's like salami, right? Stanislaus, the king of t t tomatoes. We got a lot of things here. Absolutely. Right, so how long have uh, you been doing this, though, bro? You know what? I zeroed in on pizza probably like the last two years real hard. Before that, like I said, I was cooking throughout the city. Uh, cooked at Ocheval, PQM, uh, oh, Romendo's, Italy. Helped open up Poly G's. Mm -hmm. uh, so I've been around. And you definitely been around. If you know about Ashaval, that's one of those. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. So what's up with this cheese right here? Can we uh, tell me what's up? Yeah, with this? yeah. This cheese look crazy. As the disgraced Mario Batali would say, this is the uh, undisputed king of cheeses right here. Yeah. <laughs> Parmigiano Reggiano, 24 month. All right, Absolutely. man. Uh, I think we should just start, you know, putting it together. That's for the cheese, not for Mario. For the cheese. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta clap for the cheese, man. Yeah, the cheese absolutely. is great. Snap for the cheese. Oh shit. Yeah, you know. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, man, put it together and then just let us know what you're doing. I'll ask you some more questions. Let's yeah. see what's up. Let's get at it. Alright, cool. Grab that knots. Shred mess all around the corners. Perfect lines. Looks good. Perfect lines. Literally breaking it with your hands. It's oh, just yeah. like you just gotta get in there. Gotta get in there. Okay. Uh first one. A little classic with it. Mm. Is that the sauce? Yeah, these are just uh, fresh, uh, unmilled actually, San Marzano tomatoes. Unmilled? What is unmilled? So the they're still the they're still whole. They're okay. still whole. I left them as is. Some may get on there. You got the juice from them as well. Just going super rustic with it. Okay. Yeah. Splattering it on there on Absolutely. like that, that splatter Brooklyn, pattern. It looks like Brooklyn art. Splash. Shout out to Brooklyn Pizza Crew. Go crazy. Get them in Absolutely. Y'all remember that mean buddy ass with the. <laughs> Fuck it, it's gonna be right here. I can be Pep Bay for you if you want. <laughs> oh, oh shit, go crazy. Got the fresh mozzarella right oh, here. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? So we go for that aged mozzarella so that aged it uh, mozzarella. melts perfectly, a little caramelization bubbles on there like we all like. 
And then the fresh stuff, so you got those nice white pillow type bites in there as well to hit the palate. Lace it up with a little olive oil. Authentic Italian mustache with right? everything else. Okay. Sicilian olive oil, Sicilian <laughs> mustache. We're sourcing all right here. <laughs> That's a real art, arty looking pizza, man. It kind of looked like a painting. Absolutely. Go for the Jackson Pollock look if I can. Oh, shit. So I like to do a combination of cheeses. They're all doing different things. Some are textural, some are flavor, uh -huh. some are look. Sauce. Yep. And what's that one? Is that flavor or texture? That's This one's a little bit of both, so it's going to caramelize a little as the pepperonis. Uh, let their oil uh, loose mm -hmm. uh, in the cooking process, and it's uh, it's gonna help brown on the pepperonis too. So, kind of multi-purpose. A little salt too at the end there. So. Okay, that's yeah, what's up. Absolutely. And are you gonna do these the same shit with all all, all the other pieces? We got all sorts of different options. Oh here. So man, it's you're the first going one crazy tonight, yeah. right? Okay, that's what's up. All the other ones are you get it. You want some onion on it? No, I'm good. I'm, me, good. I'm good. I'm good with the onion right, on the pizza. Word, word. But is that is that sugar or salt? So this is salt. Okay. To season up, you always want to season your produce. Mm -hmm. you want to put some olive oil on there so it cooks nice. It doesn't just steam, but it roasts in there. Yep. Salt for seasoning, always. All right, and it goes. Let's get it. We got two racks here, one for the bottom and one to finish it up top. Okay. And how long you leave it? Uh, how long you leaving it in there? So this is a par-baked crust. We do this for Chicago cracker crust, mm -hmm. uh, specifically so that the interior pieces get as crispy as the exterior pieces. Okay. Usually with cracker crust, they're, it's so thin, they're baking it, which is with one go at it, and the inside of it, what happens? So it turns to soup by the time you get to it. Yeah. So this, I like to par-bake it, throw it in there, start it on the bottom, finish it on the top so it gets hit on the bottom the right way and then caramelized at the top at the end. So. Uh, Y'all, I like this. This is yeah, real. Yeah, shout out to uh, Robert Civic for getting that for me. Mm, uh, Custom yeah. piece. Yeah, shout out Rob, but this shit look like it's from Wakanda. <laughs> <laughs> it might be, it might be. All right, All right so what's up, man? You gonna do another one for us real quick? Yeah, let's get it going. Let's, let's get see it what's going. up. Got flavors. Yeah. Right, right. Everybody like flavors. Naki art. Mm -hmm. Same person made that right there. See that, that ring? Stashed by Rick Scardino. You know what I'm saying? Okay. okay. You know? <laughs> Absolutely. Shout Absolutely. out to Barber. Yeah. Uh, you got to show some love for the, to the, the barber. The Barber, that's my father. Uh, <laughs> oh, you got this. Oh. Shout, sh shout out to Rico Spina for the fade. <laughs> oh, shit. Go crazy. Yeah. 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 Strictly white base on this. This is reduced cream. Nothing okay. crazy. Whip game. Wrist game crazy. Sometimes we want to apply basil before, sometimes we want to apply it after. Okay. Normally a long bake, I wouldn't. That's some interesting looking apply basil though. Before. Some fat leaves, man. Absolutely. Maybe I just don't know shit. I always get my uh, I always get the processed basil. Oh yeah, you gotta get that fresh. Remind me what was in the sauce again? This is just reduced cream, and okay. then this one is just uh, milled tomato, or this one is unmilled tomatoes uh, packed with some basil. Yeah. Absolutely. Those are uh, the best California tomatoes money can get by. Stanislaus. Y'all see what he did for all those people that sit there and, you know, boil the sauce for for like an hour and a half. You want it fresh. You want it fresh. You know Absolutely. Just... Even with the marinara sauces, people are cooking them way too long. Hmm. Uh, so what, what's your favorite pizza place in Chicago? You know what? I've got too many favorite pizza places in Chicago. I'm happy to call out some of them because um, there's a lot of great products out there. I love Pequod's. Obviously, I love Paul G's. Still have uh, Love Cold Fires, Bacchanopoli, uh, Forno Rosso. Uh, Italy does a great job. Damn, Peace. Uh, obviously, I got to shout out Dobro's, 400 North State. That's where I'm at right now. You're going to have um, to give me a list, man, because you just said yeah, like three places I recognize. I swear. Vito and Nick's, Marie's. We got, we got a list. We got a list. This is Marie's that I'm rocking right here. This is in Albany Park. Mm -hmm. uh, got to enter through the liquor store to really experience it, actually to get in at all. Oh, but go once crazy. Once you're in there, 
uh, it's like a straight out of Goodfellas type experience. It's Man, beautiful. you finna make me go get some yeah, pizza at Marie's. Absolutely, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we'll go to the spot. Sometimes you want to feel like a good fella. Absolutely. I say my favorite spot is Lou Malnati's. Everybody else in the room, what's up with y'all? Favorite Gotta pizza spot in Chicago? Gotta show Home run in. Home run in. Like Italian knows. Fiesta, dog. Italian Fiesta, you <laughs> said. What else? You said you're gonna give me a hat for What'd you say? Italian yeah. Fiesta. What'd you say? Emos. Emos? I ain't never heard of Emos. Oh, please, please your life. Lou Malnati's, <laughs> though. Lou Malnati's. Close Beggars. second, Rosati's. Beggars. Beg Beggars like fourth on my list. Beggars, Beggars like fourth, you know what I'm saying? You ever had Beggars Italian pizza? Beggars is great in a pinch. Oh, <laughs> in a pinch? Oh, see? That's why I never heard of none of his places, because he got that. Mm. I don't know if y'all hungry, but I'm getting hungry just watching oh, this man no. right now. I need to get out of his way so he can open the oven. Oh, look at that. That's a pizza. Oh, like oh. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah. You know. All right, so we're going to cut this up and eat it and tell you how it tastes. It seemed like the other one's going to be ready in like two minutes because this nigga just cooked that pizza in like five minutes. But speaking of cuts, this nigga French over here getting the cut from Cool to Barber. Y'all should go fuck with them while we do this. <laughs> Man, why you gonna put me on the spot and shit? My shit all ugly and shit. My shit looking like a motherfucker. Uh, yeah, damn. You go see the trans What's cracking, G? Transformation. 106 and Clark. Y'all already know how the fuck is going down in this bitch. We ain't capping. No caps. You don't see no cap on my head. Motherfucker. Uh, we got my man's coolie here. Man, where you cut at, bro? Man, I cut at whatever it take in the world. I'm out the way right now. You, in the, you out the way? Yeah. So you do house calls too? I do house calls. I'll pull up on you. Oh, shorty. Yeah, man. So I had to get my man here tonight, bro, because uh, he's a good dude. He's a good friend of mine. He's a good friend of the team. And he does a, he's, he's good at what he does. So, bro, how long you been cutting, G? I've been cutting for seven years. For seven? Yeah. What made you want to cut, G? Man, you know, I was in college, and, uh, you know, I was just trying to find a way to hustle. Ended up uh, cutting in my dorm room while I was playing football. Where you was getting a lot of chopping that man, man, I was getting it in, bro. I couldn't even go to school no more. I couldn't even practice Damn. no more. I was just in the dorm room cutting hair with Twan. Too nasty, you know? Damn, <laughs> damn, damn. Hey, that piece of looking like fucking sex right now. Oh, fucking fantastic. Shit, really good. Yeah. What? Spicy, honey? honey. Oh, that's what that is. It's a phone my life. life. Making that in Brooklyn, New York. Hey, I taste that salt, too. So that salt good as hell. That salt is good. Oh. I didn't see. You really line it up there and cut it down, or what? Yeah, I mean, yeah, just line it up and shit. Uh, I don't know. Just what you think I should do, bro? You need to fade that boy, yeah, bro. Yeah, fade that bitch, bro. Oh, fade him. Fade that bitch, bro. Then, you know, line me up and shit around here. Make me, make me all right around here. Okay. And then do my face and shit. Yeah. Yeah, Cole, Cole has a clothing brand. I saw about that. Oh, oh, yeah. We got the clothes made out of China. You know, okay. all kind of moves, bro. You know, like barbers, everything started at the barbershop. The conversations, you know what I mean? A lot of ideas. That's how I met a lot of the people I'm cool with now. I met them way back in the day. Painted everybody up. But you know what I'm saying? We still cool to this day. So, what else do you do? Uh, really? Um, I mean, I make music from time to time when I get inspired by artists and, um, and, um, Tia, party. What do you do if you're not cutting? Speaking of partying and going to festivals. I like to travel. I like to go, like, you know, different cities just to see how different barbers do things, just how different styles are in different places to adapt it to, you know, what I do. That's the What, what uh, style have intrigued you the most? Like, I learned how to cut hair in Dallas, so a lot of, you know, influences came from living out in Dallas, Texas, and, you know, seeing how those guys get down, and I also lived in Miami, and uh, I just was in L.A. for All-Star Weekend, and I saw, you know, a lot of new, a lot of styles. I was also in West Palm Beach, where, you know, I met Andy the Fade Master, and, you know, learning how to be a boss. Andy the Fade Master. Yeah. Shout out to that guy, the legend. <laughs> the legend. Oh, Arskin Reeves, you know, I learned from a lot of them cats too, you know. Yeah, Jerome P. Jones, Brandon Buford. It's just like 
You know, it's a whole culture. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? See y'all, I'm a pizza okay. chef. God, nice and slow. Go crazy. <laughs> All right. Let's get it in there. Put it in slowly. Joint, slice it up. Crispy. You know, Chicago tavern cut, party cut. I had to take off my hat. I got hot y'all. I'm gonna try a slice and I'm gonna get this nigga French a slice. Let me, let me, let me just do one last. Get two oh, oh, you want to touch it up some more? Oh, gotta throw the fresh bass on there. Gotta throw it on there. Remember, you was a little kid, you used to dance when you got food. You know, you just finna eat, you'd be like, oh shit. We got to do with your socks. Rain some. Professor Pizza. Professor Pizza. 106 and Clark. Get what's at your, it. What's your, what's your social media, man? Professor Pizza. That's it. On everything. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the little boy real Absolutely. quick. Absolutely. It's my favorite slice right there, that little. Oh, piece. Trust me, I'm coming back. All right, all right, all so right. We're going to get this to French. I'm talking with my mouth full of shit, flame as hell. He just cut up the pizza. This nigga still getting cut up. Finna fuck with the pizza. Uh, Unsanitary as hell, but we don't give a fuck. Up like squares, like a real OG Chicago nigga. What's up? Let's see how this bitch kicking, folks. Hey, cheese and pizza. Oh my god! <laughs> How dare you! How dare you! Some places make it with a machine. And it's like, that's all you gotta do is not make it with a fucking machine. Make it with your hands. I know you didn't cut for a lot of people, right? Uh, who who have you cut for that's like, you know, popping in a celebrity and shit? So, I mean, I cut Dexter Fowler from the Cubs right before uh, the Jordan store opening. That was probably one of my dopest uh, haircuts. They won the championship right afterwards. Yeah, we was at the Jordan store. They pulled out the red carpet. My boy Austin Jeffrey hit the carpet. Jimmy Butler hit the carpet. Damn. Dex Fowler, shout out to Dexter Fowler, he a real cool dude. I feel like he only stayed because of the cut, bro. So he stayed there last year. We won a championship, the Cubs went crazy. It was wild. So I think it was because of the cut, bro. It was because of the cut, bro. It's it was the a luck cool of, it's, cut. It's the luck of the cut. Chicago championship. So, man, if y'all want a championship cut, y'all already know what to do. All right, so you got any, like, uh... Story, like wild stories you didn't have while cutting this shit before? Yeah, man. Like one of my uh, clients um, flew me out to Seattle, uh, but after before that he flew me out to Miami and we had like a ball at Aura. Shout out Aura. I yeah. cut his hair before the party. VIP like three straight nights. Pop Ace of Spade bottles. You know we got all kinds of fun. We was going crazy after the cool cut. So it's like, you know, it make you feel like a star after the cut. So oh me, you know. That's what I do it for, you know, to see the confidence I put in the people and they go off and start doing crazy things with their life because they got confidence after the cut. Hell yeah, man. It's, it's crazy what um, a cut can do and how much confidence it could give you. And they say, you know, if you dress better, look better, and shit, you feel better. You know what I'm saying? So that's definitely a key. Get you a good cut from my guy. You feel me? Oh, shorty. And we finna wrap this shit up. Oh, baby. Uh, he finna, uh, line him up, line me up, up like this, uh, give me all clean and shit, and we finna eat some of this good ass pizza, and review some of these videos, it might be whack, so if y'all yeah. shit whack, I'm just, we gonna say it, send your shit in though, 106 and Clark, bitch. Oh my gosh, look at Roy. <laughs> Look at Roy over there!
Look at you! Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> you see She's him with the sad face right now? Yeah, boy. Like the, the you are a brand new person! Who is that? Okay, y'all. Genuine. Hey, 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 who is that person right there? Who is that person right there? Who is that? 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 Ladies, Tony is single. Look at this guy. And ready to pizza mingle. You know you want to come over here. You know you want to come over here. Single and ready to lead a motherfucker on for three to five months. You feel me? <laughs> oh, oh, he oh, he's got chef hours. You know, you can't. Classic margarita joint. Did someone say margarita? Classic or not classic? Can you tell us again what you put on here real quick? <laughs> so I like this. This is just classic. I like the Mexican uh, California part. tomatoes, basil, mozzarella, fresh, uh, aged. That's enough. It's going to be some Parmesan. Basil, mozzarella, tomato. Olive oil. A little olive oil. Bread. A little Parmesan. Super simple. Pizza before anything came from Naples, uh, Naples, Italy. Okay. It came from uh, Antonio Espinzito, who made pizza for uh, Queen Regina Margarita. And there you have uh, the margarita pizza or a rendi rendition of it. Mm -hmm. So three, f uh, three colors in the Italian flag, green, white, red, represented by the green with basil, white mozzarella, and the red tomato. Word. There you go. What? Professor Crazy. Pizza. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Never knew that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, what? Yeah. Yeah. They got like a whole, fresh they now. control it like carefully too in Naples. Like VPN and APN. Sort of oh, no. They do what they do the same thing. 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 They do the same <laughs> Why do you have the smallest little piece? It's got everything on it, man. I don't deserve it. I don't deserve the big piece. I didn't. I didn't deserve it. I don't. I don't. I didn't do a good enough job. I'm not sweating. Enough. What have they been doing to you? This is a privilege. Clothes are the privilege. Clothes are a privilege for me. Normally, I'm filming naked. Like, uh, I like I'm oiled up. Right, well, like, cool. I'm not and judging has, anyone here. You're you're missing, you're missing, I don't judge hair. Hair. I'm not, yeah, a, I'm not uncomfortable. I'm not where, where, where it is. Exactly. That makes me actually more comfortable. Yeah, exactly. You see how smooth he is? Yeah. That's yeah. all me. Yeah. I make sure he's smooth like that. Jinx is, Jinx is a smooth guy. For the I'm one of six and no the, comment. Yeah, the I'll, I'll wax the so shit out that ass. No he's, he's the wax. He's, the, he's Mr. Waxy. No. Wax on, wax off. Check it in the mirror, see how that look, bro. Alright, shit. <laughs> got me looking like sex himself. <laughs> yes. Hey, I'll be I'll be more beautiful than sex. Hey. Um, sex is the most beautiful and creature in the world. <laughs> 106 and Clark. I just got my shit cut by Cooley. Uh, you want to give me your motherfucking Instagram and shit? Yeah, like man. Follow me on The Cool Barber. K O O L Barber. I'm, you know, check me out. Alright, you did. And uh, he do house calls too. So uh, get that motherfucking Instagram, call the nigga up so you can get your cut. Get this motherfucking $100 line up. And we out this bitch. 106 and Clark, nigga, pizza and hair. This guy looks like he needs a corrective eyesight. Can you pass my phone to you real quick? Oh, cool. Just throw it. Yeah. Yeah. She got the paint. Lord, 
like these uh, panning shots. I was in the hood with the condors. Now I'm taking off like a concord. This shit nice. I'm taking off like the concord. Niggas think I stay up in the house more. These niggas think I stuck up on the mouth more. These shots are getting booty sticking out more. Oh, the blocks are camel trapping out the couch more. Oh, my legs and bricks are trapping out the house more. That's Joseph Gay. Remember? Like, girl, she's like to smoke. The one that's a world star. Chicago-based collective that supports everyone willing enough to create their own ways. If you have any gadgets, prototypes, inventions, or new toys you would like to be displayed hands-on, or you would like to come on the show, get interviewed, or join our live studio audience, please contact our Instagram via DM at Password Chicago. Thank you.